Welcome to how to use Dynamo with Python on how to create an instance, a shared parameter. So what I want is to use this file here. And inside the file, I have a group here called Dynamo add-in. And I want to add the group one to my project, uh, to the wall. So it should be an instance parameter and it'll be right there next to the structural. Um, so I'll go ahead and open up Dynamo. I have this already kind of set with the string and uh, categories of wall. I'll go ahead and wipe, wipe out this Python node. And get my Visual Studios app to write. So first I want to import the CLR, import the system that I'll be using from system collections, uh, generic, uh, and I'll go ahead and import everything. I'll go ahead and add a reference uh, to the Revit API um, from the Autodesk um, Revit API a database. I'll just go ahead and import everything. Um, and then I'll add a reference to the Revit services. And from here, um, I'll go ahead and import the Revit services, um, the persistent. Um, and it'll be importing the um, the document manager to handle any changes that I make inside of Revit. So Revit uh, transaction, I'll go ahead and import um, the transaction uh, manager, and that'll allow me to make um, transactions or or changes inside Revit. Um, I'll go ahead and use the uh, CLR add references, the Revit API UI, and I'll go ahead and import everything and from autodesk.revit uh, import and then the creation so I'll go ahead and first thing I'll do is I'll get the document that I'm working with and from the document manager I'll just grab the instance of the current uh, database document um, and then I'll go ahead and get the UI document from the document manager uh, as well from the instance of uh, the current uh, UI document. So this is a document that I'm working with. Um, and then I'll go ahead and get the application from the document. I'll just go ahead and send in the application. So I'm going to use a, um, a temporary file in case I want to switch it back to what I was working with. So um, the temporary file will be the one that I sent in through Dynamo. Um, and I'll get in the category with the N1. Um, and then I want to get the built-in category. So I'll use the system.enum to object. And It'll be the built-in category uh, from the Rabbit API. Um, and I'll go ahead and grab it using the category ID. And then I want to create a new um, app from the application. I want to create a new category set. Um, and then the category set, I'm going to insert um, my document uh, settings and categories. And I'm going to get the built-in category that I actually got um, the category set can have um, additional categories added to it, um, and you can do that using um, a, a for loop to, to add the additional categories and then assign them to the category. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to bind this um, to the, the new instance that I, I'm going to generate. So I want to save the original file um, from the application. So I'll go ahead and get the um, app shared file name and store it um, in the original file. Uh, and then from um, the temporary one, I want to assign the app shared file name uh, to the temporary one. So now my shared uh, parameter file name is my temporary one, and I should be able to open it. So I'll do app open shared parameter file, um, and then I'll use the shared parameter file name. So from my shared parameter file, the temporary one, I will grab the group and I'll get the item, the Dynamo add-in, which we saw that group um, in the file. And then from the external definition, I'll go ahead and get the group name and then the definition that I'm looking for. And I'll go ahead and get the item is the group one um, parameter that I'm using. So here I'll use the transaction to actually add that um, instance parameter into uh, Revit onto the wall. Um, so from um, new instance binding app, create
create um, a new instance binding. And I'll just go ahead and jet delete the one that I, I used there, have it duplicate. I actually like it better in the transaction here. I'll go ahead and add all the categories um, that, I'm, that I'm using. And then from the document uh, parameter bindings insert, um, I want to use the external definition, the new binding, uh, and the category. Um, and I'll just go ahead and put this in the uh, from the category uh, parameter group. I'll just go ahead and put in the text. Um, and these are the groups that are defined in the browser uh, of the properties. So, and here I'll just end the transaction that I'm using. Um, and then I want to um, reassign the old um, uh, or the original parameter um, name back to the app shared parameter file. So here I'll actually swap these around and that'll be the original file to be sent back so that we can we can send it in case we changed it. Um, and I'll go ahead and wipe out those additional things. Make sure I don't have anything else to clean up here. Um, shared parameter file name. Uh, so back to the original one, go ahead and copy everything in there. Um, accept and then run it. And you can see now um, it's quite fast. It generated that instance parameter. Uh, anyways, for more Revit API videos, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.